I am now joined by ASTS President-Elect Elizabeth Pomfret. Thank you so much for joining me today, Doctor. So can you tell us what are your top goals for this incoming year as president? Well, I think every uh, president comes in with some ideas of what they'd like to do. And then there's the reality of what's the burning platform that you uh, get met with. And so um, I think some of the things that right now are uh, things that have to be dealt with and that are things that are important to the community and things that I care about are right now there's a modernization of the OPTN and um, you know, questions about how uh, the, the current OPTN should be structured. We had a conference on um, Saturday morning here at this ATC about um, death, permanence of death and normal thermic regional perfusion. That will certainly be an area that, that we'll be focusing on at ASTS. And it was a joint conference between ASTS and AST and the deliverables from that conference was that we will be putting out a joint statement um, from the ASTS and the AST uh, stating that uh, although there is certainly controversies associated with it, we believe that normal thermic regional perfusion, both thoracic and abdominal, can be done in an ethical manner um, and we support that. So uh, we're looking to set up committees that will work on standard, standardization of how to perform that in an ethical manner, both from the thoracic and the abdominal standpoint, and a centralized data collection database. So that will be another area of interest. Um, and then uh, one of my areas of interest is um, setting up, we'll be setting up a standardized um, hands-on course for uh, teaching how to do living donor liver transplantation that will take place at the University of Colorado in the spring of 2024, so. That is incredible. It sounds like there's gonna be a lot of challenges along the way, but looks like you're just the person to lead the ASTS, so that is amazing. How do you plan to utilize the power of the ATC to really impact the ASTS? Well, I think that this is, um, two societies, the AStS and the a AST, that are just really very active, robust societies that are completely committed to patient-centric care and um, research, innovation, um, and really coming up with new ways to do things that's focused around how, to, how do we do things in a way that that is better for patients. And ATC is really our platform for being able to showcase those things, to learn from each other, and to, um, to be able to intermingle with each other so that we can build the relationships that we need and cross-pollinate, as it were, to, uh, to form the kinds of friendships and um, and relationships that are necessary in order to, I think, enhance the kinds of establishments and relationships that really foster great innovations that come. Um, you know, it, and, and I think it makes such a difference to be able to be face-to-face -face and interacting with one another, thankfully, um, in person again. I think everybody enjoys you know, being able to see each other and, and interacting with each other. Yes, absolutely. Very inspiring being here at ATC and being able to collaborate with others. Phenomenal. Well, thank you so much for joining me today, Doctor. Thank you. It's been my pleasure. <laughs>